hey welcome back guys I'm on the same page uh, we actually updated our card we had four uh, quantities and 800 800 was total amount but here you can see on the PayPal page we see quantity one and the amount item price is 200 and total is also 200 so that does not make sense basically and uh, we need to find out what is the problem the problem is basically uh, this is our payment dot PHP page and inside it we do not have an input field for quantity and also we don't have basically uh, the quantity uh, or here how much quantity we have this is the payment underscore uh, payment dot PHP page so we need to basically go to PayPal underscore success page where we already have I mean uh, the quantity script we did in last previous video we'll just open it edit it and we'll go and copy basically this quantity part the quantity script that we simply did in previous video we'll just simply control s to control c to copy it and we'll just paste it before the closing php tag so that's it getting quantity of the product so now we can simply add one more uh, we have quantity now and we have we have uh, change this variable to one if there is zero quantity in else condition we can simply say it will be oh there is scurly bracket is missing so we can say that quantity will be equal to quantity if there is more than zero or anything else we can add another input take over here now which is from PayPal its type will be hidden and its name will be name will be QTY sorry not quantity this is by default from PayPal and inside the value we tribute we will simply simply uh, add HTML uh, sorry PHP and will echo that QTY variable which we have right now we have it here you can see and we can also add one more uh, you know one more input to this list which uh, which type will also be uh, hidden and its name will be is equal to atom underscore number we have uh, an input for atom name and this will be for atom number inside which we can simply uh, echo the product ID pro underscore ID it will actually uh, display or will pass the product ID to PayPal so PayPal can display there to the customer I'm getting this from this this product ID we have over here so I have displayed that as well now we'll just simply save we have we have done two things we have now added uh, an input for quantity and displayed the quantity as well and also we have passed the product ID to PayPal payment page we'll save it save changes and now we'll come back to our card page you can see this is 200 we'll say okay make it 400 we'll update the card you can see this is 800 total price and you can also check out the card table quantity is 4 that's it and one more thing uh, I realized that we can only sell one product at a time with uh, you know many quantities but only one product we cannot sell many products at once to one customers one cons customer can order one product only uh, at a time so that you should also keep in mind now 800 price and quantity is 4 so that's very simple now we'll click checkout and pay with PayPal will take us to PayPal now at the PayPal page we must have four quantities and 800 price so let's test let's uh, let's test and check what it shows on the PayPal page oh that's great you can see now we also added the atom number the atom number is 6 atom price is 200 this is the title HTC mobile and total is 800 so that's now really great thing you know order summary now we will simply uh, use personal 
on personal account which is personal test at shop.com and its password is Wali Khan. I have added that. So now when the person will order this product, so you must understand that we have also written uh, the queries or here in paypal underscore success dot php page to insert the payment details to payments page and orders order details to orders page and also we have uh, you know recheck the amount and total amount if the person has paid or not so now we must receive these orders into our tables as well so let's log in and then pay so we'll see on the paypal underscore success page what happens so I will click pay now and after paying it will automatically PayPal will automatically, automatically redirect the person the customer to our success page PayPal underscore success dot PHP so I have clicked pay now now we will wait for the payment now the payment is done your payment 800 and within few seconds it will redirect it to success paypal underscore success page oh that's great it is saying welcome guest payment was failed it is saying payment is failed however payment is basically successful now let's go to payments table and great you can see payment id is 1 payment amount 800 that's fine customer id is 5 that is also fine product id is 6 and this is the unique transaction id from paypal and currency is us dollar that's really great now uh, come to orders page order has also been received order id 1 uh, product id is 5 and uh, c id i mean customer id is that and quantity is 4 all the data has been received successfully and correctly basically so that is done but this message why this message it should have been successful this is because we need to check out this page I mean oh sorry on the paypal underscore success page we have this one we have this variable as total this is the total okay so we can simply say in this else statement that if quantity was more than one then actually the total variable should be changed at this point and it should be total multiply by quantity variable that's it let's try this trick because we uh, we can change any variable any local variable that we have created we can change that at any point so we have changed this variable or here the total is will be equal to total multiplied by this quantity variable so it will now be then be equal to that in the sorry we uh, need to change that here basically we need to change that to here in the payment page basically total is equal to total equal to total multiply quantity save and now once again go to shop okay product has also been deleted you can see the cart now the cart will be empty the cart is empty go there first of all we will uh, just purchase a single product without quantity for example this 500 one head to cart now go to cart and uh, then we'll say check out and we'll say okay pay with paypal okay that's fine item number nine dell pink laptop and quantity is one and everything is fine okay 
say apna we will put our password click login okay pay now it has been paid thanks for your order now it will redirect the page automatically to okay welcome saimaityahoo.com your payment was successful go to your account that's really good that's great this payment has been successful you can see you can just go to payments page you can see this is payment number 2500 amount customer is the same product id is this time 9 and unique token number and currency etc the same has been inserted to orders page as well and cart is will be empty that's fine but it actually creates a problem with the uh, basically with the uh, you know it creates a problem with the uh, quantity so let's check again with the quantity this time you click this 500 will go and will say very simply two quantity two of debit card is thousand now okay check out paypal actually the internet connection is a little bit slow okay so this is saying uh, term price is thousand and quantity is two so it is 2000 because this is creating problem or here uh, we did this thing which is uh, i mean not good can remove this i mean this is the payment page so we don't need it here we can just uh, we'll save this and we can go to paypal underscore success dot php page and here we have the same thing anyways come back once again check out it will be two update card okay go and we have removed uh, from payment but still this total variable is equal to total multiply with quantity this is still there inside the paypal underscore success page anyways let's see oh that's great now it's fine saying uh, 5000 500 is one price and 1000 is that in this and we can also check inside the cart this is two that's fine now once again we we are just paying with the quantity i mean quantity is two this time if this payment is successful that's mean everything is perfectly done pay now okay thanks for your order and it will redirect the page oh my god that's great congratulations welcome saimaityahoo.com their email your payment was successful go to your account they can go to their account from here just by clicking this link that's it they are in their account and in this account we now can show them their orders when they click my order so they will see the progress of their orders uh, we will take that data from this orders page you know we have the product id we can trace the product using this product id and we can uh, this is the customer id we and also that's great and if we would like to add date to this order and this payment we can do that very simply we will go to you know to this thing i mean to the structure of this payment page structure and at last after the currency we will add one more uh, i mean column Let's click it and column name is debt or simply you can say payment underscore debt and you can make it debt 
or no value just save it that's it and also you can add the same thing to this orders page just go to structure and to structure a adapter quantity one column and name it order underscore date and type will be date or you can just say timestamp the correct time when the order is done save it uh, ha, 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 ha. okay save it that's done now we can simply go to this page where payment payment paypal underscore success we can simply add uh, in the payment we can simply add one more field payment underscore date and to values we can add the value will be here after the comma and that is a formula which is now this now formula will actually add the current date to that field and we can do the same with the order we'll add a comma and then say order underscore date and we will add a comma over here and we'll simply say now and two curly brackets that is the formula for it now we'll save come back go to cart no this product is not ok we need to actually add one more product I mean this time we are buying this mobile go to cart we'll remove this one ok and we'll actually check out this one with PayPal. Now we must receive dates with the payment date and also order date. Yes, put PayPal address login. sometimes uh, I forgot things so therefore I forgot to add date to payment in order so pay now we'll click it and payment done welcome Saimas payment successful that's ok now go to payments and you can see at the last because in three orders we did not add anything but in last you can say uh, 2014 7th 21 July 21 and to orders you can go you can see the exact time minutes seconds and also the date so that's really good beauty of PHP and we have done now you can see the transaction IDs are also here so now the person will come back to their account now we will actually display the orders to this person over here and uh, the orders and payments will show or or inside our uh, admin panel so that's it uh, and stay tuned